Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Jamie if you're new. Today I have a fun video planned for you guys. I'm going to be sharing with you the safety unit from The Good and the Beautiful. If you guys are looking for this unit, it is located in their science and health uh, units on their website under their pre-K through 8th grade curriculum. I'm really excited about this unit because I feel like this is great for the ages of children that I have. I have an 8 year old, an almost 7 year old, and a 5 year old that are currently doing school right now and I feel like all of this stuff is just really good solid foundational things for them to know um, when it comes to just being safe in all areas of life and so I'm gonna be going through the unit with you guys I'll do a flip through of it if you have any questions don't forget to comment down below this video is in partnership with the good and the beautiful I always love partnering with them on videos and I'm thankful to be able to represent such a great company As you guys open up, you'll see in the table of contents that there are eight lessons in this safety unit, starting with fire safety all the way down to gun safety, and then also talks about um, our bodies and being safe with those as well. So it really does hit some very, very key points for kids um, to learn how to be safe in all of these areas. So starting off, we're gonna turn to the unit information. In all of the Good and the Beautiful science and health units, they are going to recommend that you start some kind of journal, um, a science journal, or this in this one would be more of like a health journal, right? Because this is less science and more health. Um, but this is going to be this is going to be the information for that, and it's going to tell you exactly what they would recommend you to do um, to keep all of your information in the journals for each of the kids. Moving down, it's going to give you the information for a science slash safety wall, and this is going to be where you're going to put your vocabulary words um, and all of your information on that, so the kids can see that as you guys are going through the safety unit. Inside of this unit, there are some mini books that you'll want to put together. They're super easy to assemble, and this is just going to have the information for how to do that. And then lastly, if you go down to lesson preparation, it's just telling you that in the beginning of each of the lessons, it gives you a very easy way to prepare for the lesson, um, as well as all of the supplies needed are going to be located in this as well. At the very beginning of each of the science and health units that the Good and Beautiful offer, they do put this really handy page in here that will break down all of the lessons and all of the supplies needed for these lessons. What I like to do is in the very beginning of the lesson, before we even start, I go through and I collect all of these supplies so that I have them all on hand and then I just put them in a Rubbermaid tub. So as we go through each of the lessons, I can just pull from the tubs and I have everything handy. So moving on, there is a notes about this unit directly following the supplies list, and it has field trip ideas. Um, you could go to a fire station, you could go to a fire station or a police station, um, any kind of public safety place that you could go and you can learn about. And then there's also a note on the body safety lesson that basically is just going to go um, into detail about really what you're going to be learning, and that it's not going to be like full in depth. Um, maturation or sexual reproduction. The Good and the Beautiful does offer their maturation and sexual reproduction unit and that is great for when you want to um, get into that information with your kids. Directly following the notes about this unit are all of the safety rules. You'll want to cut all these out and then put these on your science um, safety wall and of course all of the information on how to do that is going to be on the top under the instructions. But these rules all correlate with different lessons so your kids will want to learn these and memorize these as you go through the lesson so they'll want to go on your science wall. So going into the lessons, the first lesson is on fire safety. As you'll see, it will give you an objective of what you're wanting to learn during this lesson, any preparation or supplies that you need, and then it's really going to hold your hand as you go through here. It's going to give you questions to ask the kids. There are fire safety activity cards that you'll want to cut out to prepare for in this lesson, and then it also has lots of activities for you to do. The first one being um, rule number one in the safety rules, and then it will also have other activities for you to do with your kids 
kids to make it as engaging as possible. These are the fire safety cards. I really like printing these out and putting these um, in my laminator just so that they're nice and flexible and they won't get ripped. As you can see, this looks like it goes with one of the activities for the safe and not safe part of this. And then of course there's a key, <laughs> just in case you need some help. Lesson two is gonna be focused on water and electricity. This is gonna be a really important lesson. This is something I've thought about many times with my children, uh, just in dealing with using electricity and also the water and all of that. So this will be a good one. You have your objectives, you have preparation if you need, and then any supplies that you need. One thing I really appreciate is all of the activities that they put in these. They make it so engaging. There is an activity safety rules, rule number two right there. There's a scavenger hunt and also a mini book to put together for this one. Looks like this goes with the fishing for safety activity. And then the scavenger hunt. And then this is gonna be your mini book that you're gonna put together. These are super easy. You're just gonna cut along the dotted lines and put them together. Nothing too crazy. Lesson three, earthquakes and natural disasters. This is something that I think will really help us to navigate through discussing these kinds of things with my kids. Um, I've had a hard time kind of knowing exactly what to say when my kids are asking about tornadoes or hurricanes. Uh, sometimes it can be difficult to kind of navigate through that. So I'm excited to just be able to have this, to be able to sit down and go over this stuff with them and teach them about this so that they know when we hear things like this, they know exactly what it means. Objectives, preparation, and then supplies needed. Graham cracker fault lines. I like graham crackers. Ooh, whipped cream. <laughs> you guys can tell I'm uh, really, really far along in my pregnancy and all this is sounding really great to me. I would love to do this safety unit if I get to uh, use whipped cream and graham crackers. <laughs> Some more activities for the kids. It looks like there is a song sung to the tune of Three Blind Mice. So you're not just gonna be sitting and staring at a textbook. It's gonna be very hands-on. There's also lesson extensions for the older children in here as well that you can use. Lesson four, God gave me a body. So this is gonna be all about body safety. So as you can see for the objective, the focus on this is that our bodies are special but that they also need to be protected. We're gonna learn about strangers, what to do if children are faced with a stranger, and a situation that is unsafe. So as we need to be safe with lots of other things and natural disasters and electricity, we need to definitely teach our children to be um, protective of their bodies and be safe with those as well and around other people. So I'm really excited about this. It looks like there's some good discussion questions here to read through with the kids. And it'll be done in a positive atmosphere where it's not going to be scary and you're going to be able to just have conversation. And then there's activities in here as well. This is going to be the mini book, God Gave Me a Body. They're gonna learn how their no is important. This is gonna go with the role play activities. And then lesson five, home alone. This is a really good one if you've got kids that are getting a little bit older and you're starting to kind of tread through <laughs> that uncharted territory of them being home alone. Uh, these are really, really good for them. So the objective of this is going to be um, helping them to learn the rules that they need to follow when they're home alone. And then they also get to create an emergency plan, which I think is really cool. Oh, I see paper airplane building <laughs> for an activity. Very cool, my son will love that. We're gonna talk about dialing 911 and what that looks like. And these cards go with the activity as well. Well, this is good, 911 scenarios. Very cool, super important. This is an emergency card that you can print off. You can laminate it and put it on your refrigerator or just in a place where your family can see it. Lesson six, kitchen and cooking safety. Uh, this is going to talking, be, this is basically gonna be talking about staying safe in the kitchen, things to do, to not do. Um, I'm sure things that are age appropriate and are not age appropriate. We just learned that the other day when my son learned why 
the steak knives are up high and why you do not use them. Thankfully everyone is safe and okay, but <laughs> we definitely did learn a lesson. Looking at these activities, uh, I see some more safety rules, preparing a snack, that's always fun. Even some safe snack ideas if you're home alone. That way you're not cooking or using things that you shouldn't be using when your parents are not there. Lesson seven, internet and peer pressure. Yes, you guys, they even are going over this in the safety unit, which I feel like is so appropriate, especially for this generation. You're gonna be talking about staying safe on the computer and what peer pressure looks like. And they're also gonna be addressing how to respond to dares dares from other peers and the importance of making choices that please God rather than impress peers. Love that. Fear of God and not fear of man, right? That is awesome. So even in something like a safety unit, they're talking about God and the importance of following him and not what the crowd is doing. This is going to be five things for them to think about before they click, which I think is so great. They can remember this. A letter for each finger. Cyber smarts for them to memorize when using the computer. I love how much they cover in this. And the last lesson is gun safety. Um, I really appreciate the good and the beautiful's objective part portion of this because they do say no matter what your stance is on gun ownership um, and regardless of whether or not you have a gun in your home, it is important to teach all children about gun safety. of the safety unit from the good and the beautiful. I hope that you enjoyed this. As always, I will have the curriculum linked down below. You guys have to go check out all of the science and health units that they offer through the good and the beautiful. They are amazing. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, this is gonna be a really great one if you've got younger kids too. Sometimes with some of the older units, you kind of have to sift through. I feel like this is gonna be a really great unit for our kids to do this upcoming school year just because it really is dealing with everyday scenarios and things that they need to learn about and they need to know. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.